the Shiviet woman is crediting strangers for perhaps saving her life last night. She spent part of her Thanksgiving talking about it with WLWT News 5's John London, who's live right now at the Justice Center where the suspect is locked up. John. Yeah, and Mike, as the young woman charged with the attack is here at the Justice Center, the victim says this is not the holiday she envisioned, but her list of people for which she is grateful has just grown longer. These are the hands that wouldn't give up the purse a robber with a knife demanded. She cut a vein in my finger, and it has to be splinted until it heals. Elizabeth Galbraith. That purse was not hers. It was mine, and I was not letting it go. This is the purse she had with her at the time. This is the woman police arrested for trying to take it. And this is the 10-inch knife they say Ashley Rhodes used to cut and slash. When I saw it, it was at her chest area under her jacket. Galbraith was coming out of Kroger on Glenway, rolling a cart of Thanksgiving to her car when the attack happened, close to the front around 8.30 Wednesday night. Kroger's was packed, so there was plenty of people, so it was pretty bold for her to even do that. Jennifer Webb and her husband George heard the commotion and came running, pulling her off of Galbraith by grabbing the attacker's arm, disregarding the danger by acting instinctively. The blade itself is about this long. It's a Bowie knife. It's a big hunting knife. It's what you would use what you to gut a deer. Police point out this could have gone lethal in a hurry had those nearby hesitated or not intervened. You can't get much more selfless in their act and what they did, and they should be commended for that. Perfect timing, and should be based it. This Good Samaritan happens to be a nurse at Good Sam. After setting the holiday table today, she spoke to us about this experience. I feel bad for everybody involved, including her. She's a young girl. I'm thinking, you know, she's obviously made some bad decisions. You don't show up at Kroger's with a knife trying to rob somebody unless something's really wrong in your life. Ashley Rhodes is 23, lives in Harrison, a stranger to Elizabeth Galbraith, who says she was punched to the ground and cut and forever grateful for the other strangers who came to her aid. All of the Good Samaritans, I'm calling them Great Samaritans because I don't know where I'd be if... They didn't step in and get her out of the way. Elizabeth Galbraith is a costume designer by trade, so she needs her hands for her work. She says they will heal. She also tells us tonight she hopes there can be healing and help for the young woman locked up here on this Thanksgiving night as a suspect in this attack. Reporting live at the Justice Center, John London, WWDT News 5. All right, John, thank you. The suspect, Ashley Rhodes, is scheduled to be arraigned on charges of felonious assault and aggravated robbery in the morning.